Are you okay? Excuse me, are you okay? You don't look well at all. No, I don't think I am well. I felt a little off before I left home, but now I feel terrible. What do you feel? I feel sick and dizzy, like I might fall over at any moment. And I have a terrible headache. Okay, the first thing is to sit down. There's a bench in the shade just there. Do you think you can make it to sit down? Yes, I should make it to the bench. Lean on me for support. I'm stronger than I look. Thank you. Have you felt like this for long? Oh, on and off for the last few days. Sometimes I feel absolutely fine, and then I start feeling this way and can do nothing. Here, have some water. It's important to stay hydrated. Thank you. You should drink plenty of water, especially in hot weather. How are you feeling now? Now I'm having trouble breathing. My chest hurts, too. I think the best thing is for me to call an ambulance, and they can check you over properly. Is there anybody I can call? A family member who can be with you when the ambulance arrives? I'd very much appreciate you calling my daughter for me. She only lives a few minutes from here. Here's my phone. She's saved under Lily Ann. No problem. I'll call the ambulance and your daughter right away. Calling an ambulance. 911, what's your emergency? Hello, there's a man in Burnham Park who's not feeling well. He is dizzy and has a headache. Can you tell me your location? Yes, we're on a bench near the playground, next to the fountain. Please hurry, he looks really sick. Okay, I'm sending an ambulance to your location. Can you tell me more about his condition? He's sweating and has trouble breathing. He says his chest hurts, too. All right. Try to keep him calm and comfortable. The ambulance should arrive soon. Okay. Thank you. I'll do that. Thank you for calling 911. Remember, if you or someone else is in danger or needs medical attention, don't hesitate to call us. A daughter's major choice. Sophia. Can we talk about your major choice? I know the application deadline is looming, so I wanted to check if you knew which direction you wanted to go in. I think so, Mom. I've thought long and hard, but I'm not sure you'll agree with my choice. Okay, what did you decide? I want to major in history. Oh, Sophia, I know you love history, but where is the future in it? How will you turn it into a career? I knew this was what you'd say. That's why I didn't want to tell you. Why not do something like health and become a doctor or psychologist? There's a lot you could do with psychology. The reason, Mom, is because I'm not interested in those subjects. I love history. I want to be a historian. Oh, Sophia, I worry for you. Mom, I have two choices. Choose a major I don't like, purely to earn money, but be miserable in my future career. Alternatively, I can follow my passion and love what I do. There are plenty of jobs in history. I could work in a museum or as a teacher, but most importantly, I'll be happy. I see. Well, if that's how you feel, I see there's not much I can do to change your mind. At the end of the day, I want you to be successful. But I also want you to be happy. And if history does that for you, you have my blessing. Thanks, Mom. That means a lot. I promise I'll think twice. Hey, Oliver. Is everything okay? Um, kind of, but not really. What do you mean? What's up? 
I've done something terrible, Dad, and I'm so sorry. Please don't tell me you took my car. You didn't take my car. Dad, I just needed to get some groceries. I took your car. Oliver, we've spoken about this. When you asked, I specifically said no. You are not on that car's insurance, so you should not be behind the wheel. We'd be in a bad place if you'd had an accident or damaged the vehicle. I'm sorry, Dad. I know I messed up. Don't tell me you crashed it. I didn't crash it. But I got too close to the railings going into the complex and may have caused damage along the driver's side door. I cannot express how disappointed I am right now. And not to say angry. How could you disobey me like this? If this is how you will behave, we have a problem. And I hate to say, I'll have trouble trusting you going forward. I just wanted to help. I wanted to get the groceries and cook dinner so you guys didn't have to. You're both so busy. Yes, Oliver, we are. But how could you see beyond the fact that you were an uninsured driver? You'd be in serious trouble if you caused an accident with another car. Dad, I really am so sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Oliver, I need some space right now. I need to assess the damage and how much it will cost to fix it. Look, I'm not happy about this, but I appreciate you owning up to your mistake. Thank you, Dad. I promise I'll think twice before I do anything like this again. How was your trip? Hey, Mom. It's me. How are you? Hi, darling. I'm doing okay. The weather here hasn't been too bad, so we can get out for lots of lovely walks. Oh, how nice! How was your trip? <laughs> okay. It started on a bit of a downer because of the flight delay, which I mentioned before. But it wasn't too long, and we still managed to get into the resort for the evening buffet. Oh, that's good. I was a bit concerned when you messaged. Especially with all the trouble at the airports these days. I know. So, how was the food? Oh, it was divine. The selection was phenomenal. There was something for everyone. Even the children didn't complain. Although that might have been because ice cream was available each day. Wonderful. It's always a relief when the food is good. When me and your dad went to Europe on our all-inclusive trip, we planned our entire day around the food. Did you leave the resort at all? Yes, we spent the first couple of days by the pool because they had water slides and a wave machine. But on the third day, we ventured into the local town. There was a walled old town which was great for soaking up culture and atmosphere. And then the new town was full of exciting stops, too. Well, it sounds like you had a wonderful time. I'm so happy for you. Thanks, Mom. When can we pop around? The kids chose a souvenir for you. Oh, bless them. I'm here all day tomorrow and Friday. Friday for coffee it is. See you then, Mom. Bye, love. A hotel mix-up. Excuse me, please. Yes, sir. How can I help you? I would like to make a complaint. I think there has been some kind of mix-up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please tell me more. Well, I booked a family room for me, my wife, and two children. Our room has a double bed, but nothing for children. I also requested a bath, and ours only has a shower. I can also detect the smell of cigarette smoke, and I booked a non-smoking room. Especially as my wife is also pregnant. Oh, goodness. It does sound as though there has been a mix-up. I'm very sorry. Please let me look at our system and work out what has happened. Could you please tell me your room number? It's 502. I understand these things happen, but I would really appreciate having the room we booked. 
My wife is exhausted after traveling and would like to put her feet up before dinner. Of course, I understand. And again, I am truly sorry for your inconvenience. Thank you. Okay, we have a family room available on the ground floor, which is more suitable for you and your family. That sounds fantastic. And as a warm gesture, we've upgraded your room to include a king-sized bed due to our mistake. We will also throw in a complimentary spa treatment. Thank you so much for your help. You've been fantastic. Please tell me your name so I can mention you to the manager. It's Hazel. You're very welcome, and thank you very much. Let's do something fun. Okay, Seb, it's Saturday night. Let's do something fun. What do you fancy? I'm so tired. It's been such a busy week. All I want to do at the weekends is sleep. I totally understand. But we spent so many weekend nights in front of the TV with takeout. Don't get me wrong. I love chilling at home. But sometimes I feel like leaving the house. Yes, I understand. Okay, I'm in. What are you thinking? Well, we could go out to the new bar in town. They have live music tonight. One of the city's best bands. It could be great fun. We're bound to bump into other friends. That's definitely an option. Or we could go to the cinema. They're showing some of the newest releases. Great idea. Although, that's very similar to watching TV. I want to go out and laugh and have fun. Okay, I've got an idea. How about we go to an escape room or adult mini golf? I've always thought that looks super fun. Yes, mini golf. It's so much fun. And I don't think I've played since childhood. Shall we see if Jenny and Lisa want to join us too? We should definitely book ourselves in. Absolutely. Right, I've got it. We book into mini golf, then head to the new bar, grab some food, and watch the music. That, to me, sounds like a wonderful night. Yes, I'll message the girls and see if they're free, and then we'll make our plans a reality. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Hey, Brendan, it's Ben. Hey, man, are you okay? Yeah, not bad. You? Yep, all good here. I need some help moving a wardrobe, and I wondered if you're free to give me a hand over the weekend. Sorry, man, I didn't quite catch that. I heard the words wardrobe and weekend, and that's it. Oh, sorry, a reception is terrible. No worries. I think you can hear me, but I can't hear you. I wanted to know if you could help me move a wardrobe on the weekend. Oh no, the line is terrible. It's cutting out every few seconds, so I miss great chunks of what you're saying. I'm so sorry. Can you speak louder? I'll give it a go. Can you help me move my wardrobe on the weekend? It's too heavy for just me. Nope, I still didn't catch it. You, me, wardrobe, move, weekend. <laughs> Got it, I think. Hooray! It's still hard to hear, though. Could you call me back when your signal is better and we can schedule a time? It'd be great to catch up to, though. Sounds good. Speak later. Will do, man. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.